In this video, we're gonna continue on a series of videos looking at rewiring our industrial unit here at Lineside Studios. This video, we're gonna look at the Marco steel wire cable tray from Atcor, which Steve's been installing. There are other videos that are interested within this series, and I recommend you check those out if you haven't already. I'll leave a link for those in the description. We looked at the Schneider Acti-9 Isobar P distribution board that Eddie installed for us, as well as the salamander trunking that we used here at Lineside Studios. But let's just see what Steve's been up to using this cable bar system from Atcor. So we're going to start off with a bit of fabrication. That's what's brilliant about this steel wire cable tray from Atcor. I'm going to call it basket probably for the rest of the presentation. Is it's so easy to fabricate. And we're going to make an external 90 degree bend first and a bit later on we'll make a flat 90. Just a case of removing the sections out of the side of the tray that are appropriate before bending it. Again, I have done another video, I'll leave it in the description, where I went through almost a one-to-one -one tutorial of how best to cut the cable basket. So once we've got the sections cut out, just a simple case in this case, over your knee of folding that 90 degree bend and making it as smooth or as tight as you need it in order to get it into the position in which you're working. So that's our 90 degree bend made. When we offer it up into position, we can obviously pull it a little bit tighter or we could uh, release it out a little bit so it's in the correct place. That was really simple though, wasn't it? It wasn't a hard task in order to perform that bend. So we'll be up in our lifter to see if it's in the appropriate position. So we'll drop it in before we make another fabrication, this time of a flat 90. Again, taking out the side sections as required as well as the back sections in the appropriate positions. And we're gonna pull it together to make a flat 90. We're gonna to need to use our quick lock clips in order to hold it into position. So as I pull it round, we'll see the clips come in. Those clips will hold the basket into place, ever so easy to slip in. There's one, and we'll just uh, do the second one. It comes flying into shop, and we can pull that into position as well. And that will be got our flat 90 degree bend, finishing our cable basket. Now that was really simple. Next, we'll look at securing the cable basket down. So first of all, we're gonna use a clamp to hold it in place. We've got a spring nut and a bolt. So simply put the spring nut into our strut before we actually clamp down on top of the cable basket to hold it into position. So here it goes, we can adjust it to suit. There is a laser level on the, the edge in order that we can get it straight. So we can move it around to suit so we're in the appropriate position before we lock it down. So we tighten that down. That's our cable basket held into place. Let's have another look at it from a different angle. There it is, securely held into position. But there is other methods that we can use. We can use the fast fix universal strut clip. Steve liked this one probably the most. So just push it into position and then just turn it and it'll hold the cable tray or basket to place. There we go, that was easy. Again, super secure, we'll see it again. So offer it into the, the strut. Just simply then just make that half turn and that's it held into position. That's super simple as well. Next, Steve's going to join a couple of lengths of cable basket together. So it's just going to slide it into position and then he's going to use the hook coupler. Again, a very simple task in order to join them together. So if we look at the second one, get a really good shot of this. Just clips on the top and then pop. There they are. They're joined together. Two lengths of cable basket are joined. Let's go on and see some of the install now. So there's our nice flat 90 that we've got in. So it just needs securing into position. So we'll just pop those clips in and then we'll go on and just check that we've got it nice and level in relationship to that laser line as we look down. Looks pretty good to me. Again, easy to adjust, so just slid it along and then fasten it into position. We've got another 90 degree at the other end. Okay, secured, simple process as we see earlier on in the presentation. And as we step back and now look at our long straight runs, I was really interested in seeing the next bit fitted. This is the Flexi Conduit plate. So you can get a plate that can accommodate the 20, the 22, the 25 and 32 mil glands on FlexiCon. So you can come off your cable basket and obviously drop down to something else. So let's pop the plate in and then we'll introduce a flexible conduit from it. So that's the plate in, just a simple case of folding the edges over. That's held securely in place. Several different holes you can fit into there for the glands. And next you can offer it your FlexiCon. So a larger FlexiCon, or as I step back, we've attached a slightly smaller one now. So that can come down and we can perhaps use it to wire our data connection into our time clocks. 
I'd like to thank Steve for allowing us to record him installing the Marco steel wire cable tray from Atcor. Well, you were surprised as I was at the end of that presentation, you see it behind me here, that you can connect a Flexicon to a basket if you were to leave a comment below. Have you got any top tips when installing cable basket? Also, we'd like those comments, please leave them below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.